I um I was on your Facebook and I was watching the Alan Watts video. Yeah. Oh, he was so beautiful. <laughs> He's great, Alan Watts. I don't know all his work. I always I I've always drawn to um I think he also is a bit of a you've got to do this and practice, but I like all his other stuff where he's not talking about that. And that one, I can play it now actually so everyone else could hear it. He just yeah. does some stunning talks about how everything is this ex this flow of of energy. This is a really beautiful one. Shall I play it now, Susan? Sure, go ahead. See, it seemed like we had a, an interaction of choice there, but there was absolutely no choice. I, the, the words came out, shall we play it? And you said, sure, go ahead. And nobody said either of those things. And nobody chose. There you go. It's funny. In this universe, there is one great energy. And we have no name for it. People have tried various names for it, like God, like Brahman, like Tao. But in the West, the word God has got so many funny associations attached to it that most of us are bored with it. When people say, God the Father Almighty, most people feel funny inside. But according to Buddhist philosophy, all this universe is one tatata. -ta -ta. That means 10,000 functions or 10,000 things, one suchness. And we're all one suchness. Now that means that suchness comes and goes like everything else because this whole world is an on and off system. As the Chinese say, it's the yang and the yin. And therefore it consists of now you see it, now you don't, here you are, here you aren't, here you aren't. Because that's the very nature of energy to be like waves and waves have crests and troughs. Only we, under, being under a certain kind of sleepiness or illusion, imagine that uh, the trough is going to overcome the wave or the crest. The yin, the dark principle, is going to overcome the yang or the light principle. And that off is finally going to triumph over on. And we, shall I say, bug ourselves by indulging in that illusion. Gee, supposing darkness did win out, wouldn't that be terrible? And so we're constantly trembling, thinking that it may, because after all, isn't it odd that anything exists? It's most peculiar, it requires effort, it requires energy, and it would be so much easier for there to have been nothing at all. Therefore we think, well, since being, since the is side of things is so much effort, you always give up after a while and you sink back into death. But death is just the other face of energy. And it's the rest, the not being anything around, that produces something around, just in the same way that you can't have solid without space, or space without solid. When you wake up to this, and realize that uh, the more it changes, the more it's the same thing, as the French say, that you are really a playing of this one energy and there is nothing else but that, that it is you, but that uh, for you to be always you would be an insufferable bore. And therefore it is arranged that you stop being you after a while and then come back as someone else altogether. And so when you find that out, you become full of energy and delight. And you suddenly see through the whole sham of things. You realize you, you're that. We won't put a name on it. You're that. And you can't be anything else. So you are relieved of fundamental terror. That doesn't mean that you're always going to be a great hero. That you won't jump when you hear it bang. That you won't worry occasionally. That you won't lose your temper. It means, though, that fundamentally, deep, deep down within you, you will be able to be human in the pains, difficulties, and struggles that naturally go with human existence. 
but to have no hang up. That is to say, to be able to drift like a cloud and flow like water. Seeing that all life is a magnificent illusion, a playing of energy, and there is absolutely nothing fundamentally to be afraid of. Fundamentally. You will be afraid on the surface. You will be afraid of putting your hand in the fire. You will be afraid of getting sick. But you will not be afraid of fear. Fear will pass over your mind like a black cloud will be reflected in the mirror. That's so lovely. Yes. <laughs> and the brain wants to hold on and comes up with so many thoughts after hearing that. And it's also so fascinated by life. The brain. Yeah, or the mind or the me or whatever it is. And I often um, hear you say how, you know, the Lisa body is not important to us. Yeah. And... I guess that just makes me think of how my mind is so curious, not just about the Lisa body, but about all bodies, you know? And I guess that's just what it does, you know? It's just doing its thing of thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah, Can, can't you feel it? Can you, I don't even know what this means, but can't you feel all the different stories? Of all the different bodies, it's like it's like I there's there's a part I don't know if it's a part of Lisa or a part of life that knows every story and every body so well. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like a fascination with the different bodies. But the fascination isn't about understanding or knowing them. Mm -hmm. There's something that knows them so well. Almost like you've played every role. Yeah, that's really beautiful. I guess, and that's, that's where the comparison comes in, is I feel like I feel it through my, through my mind and my thoughts, but when you speak, it sounds like you're feeling it through something different. It's the same way you're feeling it, it's just that energy's sometimes getting stuck in certain places where it's saying this is this is the way it is. But actually there's a there's a part of you that knows every story and every being and everything. It has it's it's known it, it knows it so well that it's been all of it and is all of it. And then there's this interest also which isn't interested from a personal way. It's interested and fascinated beyond the person. But then more than likely energy is coming in in Susan and claiming that interest in a thought yeah. way. But it's not wrong in any way. It's just, it's, just, it's just believing the interest is in stories. But actually there's a natural interest there. Yeah. This, this, but it's... It's hard to talk about these things. <laughs> it's more of a sense of it, but it's so hard. It's like, it's a, it's, 
it must be like what it's like for an artist when he's trying to paint an abstract piece of art. That's what, it's, that's what it feels like trying to talk about this. Like, I feel, but saying I feel is completely wrong. And I'm sure everybody feels this. There's not even everybody, because it's just the natural way of being stuff. I know every story that's ever played out and that ever will play out. It's like beyond compassion. It's like you can understand every story, but not in an intellectual way. It's like a feeling way, but not as like a feeling that's coming and going. Like you can feel so well why the murderer murders, why the sun shines, it's why the dog bites or the dog runs around in joy, why the flower is dying, why the bug bites or goes to get the pollen. You can feel it, but not in a feeling way. Do you know what I mean? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, it's not quite. It's not quite. Do you know what I mean? That's just the way we talk. It's like, can you sense that? It's not even senses. Yeah. It's like when you're listening to Alan Watts, or maybe it's when you're listening to Lisa as well, or me. Um, it's like a knowing of what's being talked about, but without being able to intellectually understand it. Mm -hmm. When you look at the bee, you know the bee so well as to why he buzzes and gets the pollen and does his little dance. It feels like a good, uh, that was a good description to what we can't describe. <laughs> yeah, and it's absolute compassion, this part of it, like knowing every story like knowing it beyond your sense of knowing it because it's you can't hate anyone because you know exactly why they do it but it's not an intellectual thing you couldn't rationally describe it yeah like when somebody takes your food at work or shouts at you or beeps their horn you know why they're doing it but beyond the rational sense it doesn't mean that Susan doesn't have a reaction and go shut up or you ate my food or it doesn't have a bad negative reaction that might happen but there's a there's a knowing beyond that of why it's all happening that's not intellectual or understandable yeah and if there's a negative reaction then that's okay but yeah that's so that's part of the that's part of what the characters do you, yeah. you've heard here my dogs they're always having a little well not always but a lot of the time fighting <laughs> not fighting like uh, biting each other but they're, they're like if Khaleesi goes to steal his bone he's the boy and then he tells her off and then she try, he tries to steal her bone later and they're always sort of doing that kind of back and forth game they're like my bone or pushing each other out of way for cuddles it really doesn't matter if the, if the character is a more negative, grumpy character. That doesn't that doesn't matter at all. That can be the way of it. You There's can't... so many different facets, so many different sides. Yeah. And you, not as the character, can be anything. You could be the murderer, the paedophile, not as the character. As you can be the saint, you can be the supermodel. You can be the chef, you can be the bee, you can be the pond, you can be the water, you can be the rain, you can be the wind, but not you as the character. Anything that you imagine of what I'm saying, any asset which you imagine to be all the rain and the whatever I just described, isn't it? Not you as something, you as no thing, can be anything. And that's your nature, the no thingness. feels like a black hole <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> I 
Oh, Lisa, it's just lovely to speak with you. Yeah, it's really lovely to speak with you, Susan, as well. <laughs> that was nice listening to Alan. I might yes, put some more yeah. Alan on. I've got another one that I really like of his as well. Somebody edits them with really nice music as well, so it really creates the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. I guess I better go now. Thanks, Susan. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.